Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a reading wrap up, the first one of 2017. So for this year I decided instead of doing uh, monthly wrap ups, which I kind of went away from anyway, instead of doing those I decided to do a wrap up for every few books that I read. So between like three to five books will be in each of these wrap ups. My goal for 2017 is to read only 30 books. So I didn't plan on reading a lot in each month anyway so I didn't think that doing a monthly wrap up for each month was practical because it would probably only have two or three books in it. This is the first one that I'll be doing and I read three books so far this year so let's get into it. The first book I read in 2017 was Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the first book in the Witchland series. It follows multiple characters. One of those characters is a truth witch. She has the ability to determine whether somebody is telling the truth or lying based on what they're saying. Then there are other different types of witches in the series. There's a wind witch, there's an air witch, a water witch, just a bunch of different things and I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was so refreshing for me to read a book that had a unique magic system and I find it very unique because yes I mean it does have to do with a lot of elements so an elemental magic type deal but there are other things like truth witch like the girl can tell whether you're lying or not I thought that was very intriguing I really enjoyed that aspect of it like I said it's very refreshing to read a fantasy novel that has a unique magic system because a lot of them are going back to the same magic systems. One of my favorite things about this book was the friendships between the main characters. Safi and Isolt, I think her name is, I'm not entirely sure, but they have such a unique and adorable friendship. They would do anything for each other and I find that awesome. Plus they're both girls so it's like finally we have a good strong female friendship going on. I definitely enjoyed all the side characters as well as the main characters and I loved how this was told multiple perspectives. I definitely think I'm going to really enjoy this series. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The second book I read in 2017 was Wind Witch by Susan Denner. This is the second book in the Witchland series. There's only two out currently. This one just came out in I think the beginning of 2017 or the end of 2016, not really sure. But I enjoyed this one just as much as the first one. It really delved into more of the plot and there were a lot of twists and turns and a lot of action and I really enjoyed it. You're slowly starting to see relationships take off and I am hardcore shipping Isol and the Blood Witch right now. This, I, I need them together. They, I, I mean nothing happens but like I need them. You know what's gonna happen. It better at least. I'm very much so hoping. I'm really excited to see where this series is going. I think it's going in a great direction right now. I'm not sure how many books are going to be in the series but like I said there's only two out currently and I mean I read it so fast that I'm just now I'm in the waiting game right now for the next book but it won't come out probably until 2018. But yeah, I, I'm very much so enjoying this series. Great young adult fantasy series. And now for the third and final book I have to talk about in this wrap up is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. This is the second and final book in the Wrath and the Dawn duology. I gave The Wrath and the Dawn, the first book in this duology, a 5 out of 5 stars. I believe it made my favorite list of uh, what was it? 2015, I believe, and it was my favorite book of that year as well. It was so good. I did a full review of that one down below in case you're interested. This one was not as good in my opinion, but still a very enjoyable read and it was a strong conclusion to the duology. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars, or maybe a 4. I'm not sure, but definitely it was high rating. The first book is about a girl who goes off to be married to the Caliph of Khorasan. I am probably butchering these names. I can never figure out how to say any of them. But yeah, she goes to be married to him in order to kill him because he has killed every single one of his past wives after one night. So she goes to kill him and get revenge uh, uh, for her friend and then things kind of take off from there. She ends up falling in love with him and just things get complicated. There's magic in it and it was very enjoyable. Love the first book. This one, like I said, was a strong conclusion to the duology. I really enjoyed it. I loved how everything ended up and everything came together in the end. The ending was perfect in my opinion. I do have uh, one complaint though and that is the whole point of 
the duology, at least I thought the whole point of the duology, was to figure out the curse that was on the caliph and why he had to kill all those girls and how to break that curse. Well, in this one, everything just wrapped up way too fast and way too smoothly in that aspect anyway. It just, it happened really, it, it happened really fast and I didn't really like that. I thought it should have taken more time or it should have um, been a little bit harder in my opinion than just this one simple aspect. That's the only complaint I have for this book though, so it was really enjoyable other than that one s small part. But yes, I did really enjoy it, like I said, and I just adore this duology. I love it. So yeah, these were the three books that I have read so far this year. I hope you all enjoyed this wrap-up. So far, my favorite one is Truth Witch. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. I would love to know. I have links to all my social media down below, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat my Goodreads. <laughs> I almost forgot that one. I have all those links down below in case you're interested. Please like this video and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye!